Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. I promise, I promise, I promise, after I get done this video, I am going to be cleaning my garage. I know it's been a mess for a while, but I just really haven't had time. I get done an install and I'm like, man, I gotta go edit this or whatever and it's past my bedtime and I just haven't had time. But I promise, I'm gonna get this garage cleaned up because it looks terrible. But today I have another install video for you. I have another care package from Rexpeed. So we got a whole bunch of carbon fiber to add to this engine bay. I'm gonna do it all in today's video, show you the different parts that we have, show you how we're installing them, what modifications I'm making to make it work a little bit better. Uh, so I'll show you guys all that. So we have two different like fuse and relay box covers. We have the carbon fiber air duct, and we also have the carbon fiber fender shrouds. These are pretty nice quality from what I can tell. They look really nice, deep shine. There's, they're pretty smooth for what they are. I mean, being carbon, you can't always get it super smooth and these have a really nice reflective finish. Everything looks great. You guys will see when I bring it in closer. And another thing that I notice is a lot of companies that make carbon fiber parts, it's always a skinned part. So you have like a FRP base or like a fiber reinforced plastic and then, or a fiberglass. So you either have like a plastic or a fiberglass base and then they just throw carbon over top. These guys actually just double, they doubled up on the carbon. I mean, it's full carbon all the way through the inside and the outside, and every single part is like that. So uh, I think it'll be nice. I think we're gonna have a good install. I think it's gonna hold up quality for a while. Um, so we shall see, but we're gonna go ahead and install these parts. All right, so the first thing we're gonna install is the air duct. This is pretty simple. You're just gonna have two pop clips here that you have to remove, pull those out, and then you can remove your factory air duct. Then we're just gonna simply take our carbon fiber one, lay that in place, push down a little bit, and we're lined up and ready to go. Just put your factory pop clips back in and you're all set. The next one we're gonna do is the fuse box cover. This one's straightforward, it is just 3M tape. So we're gonna take some isopropyl alcohol. I have 91% here and we're just gonna wipe this down really good. You can take this out also to do the install if you want, but you don't have to. Then we will just peel off the tape backing. And then we'll just position this, make sure that it goes down over top of everything. And we'll just install that and gently push it down. You don't need to put a lot of force on it. You just wanna push it down enough that you can feel that tape kind of stick on there. And that is it. Now we're gonna do the fender liner and there's just gonna be three pop clips that need to be removed. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. And then I need to show you guys something that I'm going to be doing to make this install a little bit cleaner, I think. So when you remove this and we go to install our carbon one, once you line everything up and you have all of your holes lined up. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that from over here, but we have some pretty substantial gaps, right? Here's a pretty big gap. Here's a pretty big gap. There's one up here and it just looks really funny. It doesn't look like it's meant to go there. I don't think there's anything wrong with the product, but it just the way it sits, it doesn't look right. And so what I did and what I'm doing is I'm taking the factory liner and because it is kind of like a rubbery material, I am just cutting it and I'll show you what I did and how I made it work. So I'm choosing to show you guys this side because this is the side that I've already modified. So I'll be able to show you but when you go to put this down, as I showed you on the other side, and most people probably won't care, but it does bother me that it doesn't come up and fill in these gaps like the OEM one does. So what I did was I took the OEM piece and I cut and trimmed all the side off of this. So this is just the top portion that has this rubber flap right here. And what we can do with that is we can lift this up. Another thing to note, I had to modify my ETS intake box to make this fit. So initially when I would try and put this down, it would just hit the top of the intake box. So I trimmed it and now it does go down over. I think it is still making contact. I might have to trim it just a little bit more, but for the most part now it fits. So be wary of that. If you have an ETS intake box, you may have to modify it. But what I did here was I laid this piece down and I get it lined up about where I want it. And then I'll take our carbon fiber piece and I will fish that in here and I'll get that lined up. And I'm kind of tucking the carbon underneath this trim piece right here. And then we are pushing it down and we can install our pop clips. So I'll grab my OEM pop clips and we will line this up and push it down. 
They do still clip in. They're a little bit tighter than before. When you clip them in, like it feels a little more forced but they do still go in. Now you can see we have that rubber here along the side and it looks a lot better. There's still a small gap up top here, but it's nowhere near as noticeable as it was before, um, before we installed that. So I think that looks a lot better than just the carbon by itself. And again, it's still completely open through here because we didn't touch any of that. So just for some quick comparison, this is the passenger side, which I've not done yet. You can see that gap, you can see how it looks. And then if we come over here to the driver's side, you can now see how that looks. All that's left to do is install the relay box cover. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so here's a final look at the engine bay with all this stuff installed. If you guys like carbon fiber, this is really a great addition to the car. Just cleans up the engine bay and makes it look really nice. This is obviously something that you're gonna wanna get, you know, if you're building a show car or you really wanna impress people, you know, at the meets and stuff. I think it's a good addition. It is, however, expensive, as I said, but I can see why it's expensive. I know carbon's always been expensive and stuff like this is double layered carbon and everything. I get it, the quality's there, so, you know, the price tag's there. But I think it looks nice. If you guys like it and you have the extra money laying around for it and it's something that you wanna do to your car, I definitely recommend it. So a big thank you to Rexpeed for sending me this stuff out so that I can make this video for you guys so that you can see if it's something that you want to buy or something you want to install on the car. I'll leave a link in the description which will take you to all the engine bay stuff from Rexpeed so you can buy one piece or two pieces or all of it or none of it, whatever you guys want. But I appreciate you checking out the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one.